Greetings and welcome everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at the different types and styles of recumbent trikes. Let's go. Recumbent trikes are definitely not all created equal. I'm not talking about quality, but rather the whole horses for courses thing. There are different types of trikes for different types of riding, with a good amount of crossover in usability, and quite a few trikes straddle the line across different categories. From touring to racing and everything in between, once you decide on what type of trike will best fit your riding needs, there's a trike for you. And unlike the chocolates in Forrest Gump's box, if you do a little research before buying, you'll know exactly what you're going to get. Taking a quick look across this assortment of tadpole trikes, you'll see a dramatic difference in everything from seat height and recline to ground clearance. So let's go through each one of these and discuss the differences. This is a vintage iced tea. The T is way over on the touring trike end of the spectrum, hence the T for touring designation. The T has a very upright seat, which makes getting in and out of the trike very easy. Let's look at the first of our getting in and out tests. As you can see, I had very little trouble sitting in and getting out of the trike. The T also has great ground clearance, with the bottom of the frame being around six and a half inches from the ground. Being a touring trike, the T's upright seat allows for optimal scenery viewing with no strain on the neck. The comfortable mesh seat offers an extremely cushioned ride, maximizing comfort for those long days in the saddle. Being as upright as it is, the T suffers from an aerodynamic disadvantage when compared with more laid-back trikes, but the point of the T is not racing, but rather enjoying the ride at a leisurely pace. The T is no longer in production, but there are plenty of touring type trikes being produced today by all the trike manufacturers, including trikes with full suspension if you're looking for an even more comfortable ride. This is a vintage Greenspeed GTO, another trike maximized for touring, but as you can see, it's a bit sportier than the T, a little lower to the ground, and has a seat that's a bit more reclined. In our getting in and out test, the GTO is a little more of a challenge than the T, but it's still pretty easy to get in and out. The GTO again sports a mesh seat for comfort, and while its ground clearance isn't as good as the T, it still has lots of space between the ground and the steel cruciform frame. While the GTO puts the rider in a slightly more reclined position when compared to the T, which makes moving faster a bit easier, the GTO still falls over in the touring trike area of the spectrum. Thank you. 
This is a vintage Ice Q26. 26 for the 26 inch wheel in the rear of the trike. The Q26 moves us firmly into the sportier end of the trike spectrum and as you can see from our in and out test, I'm starting to plunk down in the seat on the way down and it's taking a fair bit of effort to get back up out of the seat. This is, unfortunately, the price you have to pay for better aerodynamics. The Q26 was designed to be a fast trike with the Q standing for quick, but I've never found it to be as fast as any of the trikes dedicated completely to speed, like the Cat Trike 700 or the Ice VTX. Instead, it shines as a crossover trike, a decently fast trike, and something that I would be perfectly comfortable touring with. The Q26 sports a hard shell seat, which for some may mean a loss in comfort, but which gives the rider a firmer platform to push against, making it easier to maintain higher speeds. Finally, we come to the ICE VTX, a trike with a large 700C rear wheel and with every aspect of the trike maximized for speed. As you can see in our final up and down test, I'm really plunking down hard in the seat here and it's taking a hand against the seat and a good amount of effort to get out of the VTX's seat. Again, this is the price you pay for aerodynamics but if you can deal with the price of entry, pun intended, the VTX will reward you with an extremely fast ride. Ground clearance on the VTX is also getting more limited with around three and a half inches of clearance. With a carbon fiber hard shell seat, there's a firm platform for transferring energy to the pedals and with the rider down out of the wind, there's not a whole lot of wind resistance to slow you down. But being lower to the ground, you may find it more difficult to take in the view and your neck will naturally be in a more craned position when compared to a touring model of trike. So you see there's always a trade-off. The key is deciding what's most important to you and then finding a trike that's designed to perform best in those areas. You may find a pure touring trike suits your needs perfectly or you may be looking to simply find the fastest trike out there. Or you may be best suited to one of the many trikes that fall somewhere in between those two extremes. Wherever you fit into the wonderful world of triking, Whatever type of trike you decide on, I can guarantee you'll have a great time riding. See you out there. Thanks for stopping by and we will see you all next time. Bye bye.